We designed LifeTree to be the most advanced web-based application for the worldwide community of classical homeopathy professionals, but also very easy and intuitive to use. The aim of LifeTree is to help you provide accurate diagnosis in a fast and secure way, offering you an easy way to increase your productivity. In this video, we will go over the basic features and functionalities of LifeTree, which should enable you to start using the system right away. This tutorial is divided into four independent parts, addressing the main functional sections of LifeTree. Modifying your profile information. Creating and managing cases. The patient visit and the interview process, case taking and analysis. Reviewing your case and visits history. Modifying your profile information. To start using LifeTree, click the Login button at the top right corner of the menu bar and type your email and password. Upon logging in, you will see a page with your list of cases, which will initially be empty, and a simple navigation menu on top. From this menu, you can edit your profile, change the repertory language, or return to your list of cases. You can edit your profile information, or change your password, or desired repertory language, through the Account tab in the menu at the top of the page. Creating and managing cases. Patients, cases, and visits. Every patient is represented as a case in LifeTree, for which you can store data and comments. From your list of cases, you can click on a case name to work on it, that is, to start or resume a visit. Each visit corresponds to a session with the patient. The visit is where you will be doing most of your work with LifeTree. During a visit, as you examine a patient, you can select rubrics, enter their weight, run analysis, and lots more, which we will be going over. Alternatively, you can click on the three icons adjacent to each other in order to edit the details of the case export the case to file or create a brief report from this case. Creating your first case. To add a new case, just type a reference name for your patient. For additional privacy, we recommend you avoid using your patient's name as the case name. Instead, you could, for instance, use a name combining your patient's initials, gender, age and main health complaint so that the individual cannot be identified by people other than you. When done, click Add Case. Once you click Add Case, the first visit is automatically initiated and you land on the Visit page. We will discuss the Visit page in detail later in this tutorial. For now, we return to the list of cases. Editing Case Details If you click on the Edit icon near your case name, you can edit the case name, add comments related to your patient's medical history, or permanently delete the case. Exporting and importing cases. LifeTree enables you to export and import patients' cases from and into your existing list of cases. This is particularly useful when you want to share a case with other practitioners for review and cooperation. To save a patient's case to your local disk, click on the Export Case icon. This will save the case in standard XML format in a file you can email to a colleague. You can also import a LifeTree case that a fellow practitioner may have sent you into your list of cases. Click on the Import Case button and navigate to the file to select it. The case will then be automatically added to your list and you can start working on it. Creating brief case reports. By clicking on the Create Report button, you can also generate a brief report of the major activity in each of your cases. You can also view the events and historical logs of past visits for each case or review the prescriptions recorded in the past for this specific case. This will be covered later in this tutorial. To examine and work on a case that you have already created, click on the most recent visit to resume it. For example, if you want to study the case again on your own, note that you can only resume the most recent visit for your case. 
You can also start a new visit for each case. For example, if a patient visits your practice again for a new consultation, when this happens, LifeTree will assist you by displaying for you the rubrics and weights that you had last selected during the patient's previous visit. You can then quickly check with the patient and modify these weights, remove some rubrics, add new ones, and so on. The patient visit and the interview process, case taking and analysis. If this is your patient's first visit, an empty visit page will appear. This is the main page you will be working on for your patient's session. Here you can start adding rubrics while interviewing your patient. Selecting repertory language. The repertory is available in several languages, although upon registering, you have indicated the language you typically want to use. At any time, you can change repertory language from the list and the menu. Notice that whenever you move your cursor over any rubric name, an English translation will appear for your convenience. Adding rubrics to the case. We will now simulate a real case of an imaginary patient, AK, whose primary complaint is bad mood and weakness. You can start your interview by asking your patient for symptoms while clicking the Add Rubrics button. A flexible and fast search facility window will appear. Here, you can type in keywords of the symptoms reported by the patient and see a list of rubrics matching the keywords you have typed in real time. Using this powerful search method, you don't need to type the complete symptom description. Even part of it will display for you the relevant list, including the cross-references of the matching rubrics. This greatly helps you locate the correct rubric. Let's assume that the first symptom reported by the patient is suddenly waking from sleep. You can type in some incomplete words and select the symptom sleep, waking, sudden from the list of related and matching rubrics. You can then select its weight through the appearing drop-down menu with the following choices. Extreme, severe, moderate, light, no meaning not likely and not at all or opposite. We select weight 2, moderate. Cross-references. Notice that in this window, LifeTree also displays, in a lighter shade of grey, the cross-references of rubrics, which are other related rubrics. This greatly helps in finding the particular rubric you are interested in. You can hide or show cross-references. Viewing rubric information. Notice that for each rubric, LifeTree provides you with the rubric size as a blue numeral adjacent to the rubric description. The rubrics with zero next to them are empty, which means they do not have remedies and you cannot add them to a case. If you click on this numeral, a pop-up window appears with the complete rubric Further clicking each remedy in the rubric pop-up display gives you the book references that support this repertory entry. This instant browsing facility provides repertory transparency and an easy way for you to check which authors support which remedies for this rubric. Back to our case. We click X on the rubric search window to close it and resume work on the visit page, where we will find the rubric we have just added. We can return to the search window to add more rubrics. The second symptom for patient AK is weak memory. So we can again type in the related words and select mind, memory, weakness, loss of, with weight one. Notice the dynamic list updates while typing each character. Next, the patient mentions his ability for philosophy, which we search for with incomplete words and select rubric. Mind, philosophy, ability for, with weight two. Then we proceed with the remaining symptoms reported by the patient. Theorizing, mind, theorizing. 
with weight two. The sea air makes him feel better. Generalities, air, seashore air, ameliorates with weight three. And the prominent symptom, mind complaining with weight three. Clicking X on the rubric search window to close it, we resume work on the visit page with the list of rubrics that we have just added. Notice that Lifetree has already suggested remedies for these rubrics. Analysis. Notice that Lifetree instantly calculates and suggests remedies for the case you have entered. You can sort the rubrics in this list by time of edition, by description, alphabetically, by rubric size, or by weight, ascending or descending, by clicking on the corresponding column title once, or again to reverse the order. You can also sort the suggested remedies list by remedy size, description, or score, ascending or descending. The default sort is by descending remedy score to assist you in evaluating the results. Again, in this list of rubrics, Lifetree provides you with the rubric size for each one as a blue numeral adjacent to the rubric description. Clicking on this will display the same rubric and book browsing facilities described earlier. At any moment during your patient's interview process, you can change the weight of a rubric, delete a rubric, or add a new rubric. Lifetree automatically provides instant recalculation of the suggested remedies. This feature helps you experiment and check your rubrics and their weights with the fastest turnaround time. Note how quickly Lifetree automatically calculates the suggested remedies provided that you have already added at least three weighted rubrics to the case. Score breakdown. Clicking on the score number gives you the option of seeing a breakdown of each remedy score. The table that appears presents an approximate contribution of each of the listed rubrics to the remedy whose score you clicked on. Moreover, clicking on Show Score Breakdown produces an analytical table with the contribution of each of the listed rubrics to the top 15 remedies. Differential Diagnosis Lifetree greatly facilitates differential diagnosis. For each of the suggested remedies, you can click the adjacent Suggest Rubrics button, which appears when you move your mouse over them. This will calculate and display for you a suggested list of rubrics highly related to this specific remedy for this particular case. For example, clicking Suggest Rubrics for the remedy Sulphur, you get the list of rubrics that would favour this remedy. From this list, you can select rubrics to see if they apply to the patient and add the appropriate ones in the exact same manner as during the Add Rubrics process. Let us say that we select Mind, Religious Affections, Sad, as confirmed by the patient. This rubric is automatically added to the rubrics list and a new automatic recalculation of the remedies takes place instantly. Prescription. Prescription recording is easy and fast in Lifetree. Once the interview is completed and the proposed remedy is finalised, you can optionally proceed to the next step, prescription. Click the button, New Prescription. The prescription page appears with four main fields for each remedy. The remedy's name, proposed potency, dosing structure, and number of days to be taken. 
Let us say you have chosen sulphur as the remedy to be prescribed. You start by typing sulphur in the remedy field. Life Tree helps you by auto-completing the remedy name. After completing the first row, you can add more if you want by clicking the plus button. You can follow the same procedure to complete the second row of the prescription. In order to complete the prescription, just click Finalize Prescription. Reviewing your case and visits history. All of your interactions with Lifetree automatically become part of your patient's case history, which you can then review or export for your personal records. Let us go over in more detail how to review the historical data of one of your patients. From your cases list, you can navigate to each and every case that you have treated so far. We select the case you completed in our example for patient AK. Click on the magnifying glass icon to open the visit details page. This page contains a list of the actions taken during the selected visit of patient AK sorted chronologically. Every analysis action for suggesting remedies is stored for your complete reference record and so is every suggest rubrics action executed and every prescription that you recorded during your patient's various visits. By clicking on an action, Lifetree displays a detailed description of this action. For analysis, Lifetree displays a list of the input rubrics and the proposed remedies for that specific set of rubrics. For suggest rubrics, Lifetree displays a list containing the input rubrics, the specific remedy clicked on, and the proposed output rubrics for asking the patient. For prescriptions, Lifetree displays the remedy name, potency, dosing, and number of days you entered. Thank you for following this short tutorial. Lifetree is a unique tool that saves you time and money by providing you with a complete and reliable software solution for homeopathic prescribing. We hope Lifetree's features will help you and your team be more productive and take your homeopathy practice to the next level. To try it out for free or learn more, visit us at lifetree.net.